totally confused by all those dates linked to your photos and video files? Not anymore after you check out this video. Hi, I'm Amanda Scott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. When you're looking at photo and video files, what on earth do all those dates mean? Yes, when it comes to photo and video files, there are a ton of dates that can be associated with them, which can get very confusing. So in this video, I'm going to talk you through what all those date fields mean when it comes to your photo and video files, so you won't get confused again. And check out at the end my sneaky peek as to how you can find them all on both your PC and your Mac. But why is it important for all those dates to be right? Having the right date makes the files searchable by those dates. So if they are wrong, you are going to be searching for some time. Also, all of those lovely photo apps who sort your photos by date order are not going to work if the dates are out of whack. And if you want to use some of those funky photo sorting apps such as the Big Mean Fold Machine, which I love, then those dates need to be correct, obviously. Date created. Date created is the date that the photo was created on your computer. So if you start copying and pasting photos around or you've exported photos from, say, Apple Photos, that date of creation will be the date that you have done that activity. So when it comes to creation date, be very careful when you use it. Date modified. Date modified is the date you last edited that photo on your computer. The last time you cropped it, changed the color, add a sticker, you know the stuff. Capture date. Capture date, or the photo shoot date as you will see it called in some places, is the most important date that you want to make sure that your photo does not lose. It is the date that you took your camera pointed it at your lovely, beautiful memory, and took that photo. In Windows, to confuse things a little bit, it's called Date Taken, and it can also be called a ton of other names elsewhere. But if it has the word original in the name, you are on the right track. But trying to find that date can be a bit tricky, but I will get to that later. Media Creation Date Videos always like to do their own thing when it comes to dates, so they don't have a capture date or a photo shoot date, they have a media creation date. So if you're looking at any of these programs to find the original date that your video was taken, you won't find a capture date, but you will find a media creation date. How to find all those dates. So now you understand what those dates mean, how do you find them? Well, when it comes to Windows and Mac, they could not be more poles apart when it comes to finding those dates. For Windows, it's really easy. You just need to go to Windows Explorer, select the Details view, and then right-click on the column headers. Go to More and scroll a bit and select what extra columns you would like to see, like Date Taken. You can also access all of that data by right-clicking on an image and going to Properties and then Details, and you'll be able to see all of those lovely dates ready for you to find. When it comes to Mac, it likes to be a little bit different, of course. Some of the dates you can see in Finder, the best way to see them is to go to List View, where you can right-click on the headings and see the date modified and created. However, to see the original capture date, it is not possible in Finder. So what on earth do you do? Well, this is where some other programs are going to help you out. For the Mac, my favorite is Adobe Bridge to find the capture date and a ton of other useful information. And usefully, Adobe Bridge is totally free. To find the dates, select the photo you want to see the date for and go to the metadata tab at the top you will see a window with all that data in it. It may depend on the setup and layout of your Adobe Bridge, 
so yours might look a little bit different to mine, but all that information is there ready waiting for you. Another option for both PC and Mac, if you want to go a bit techie, is to get into the EXIF tool. But it's not the easiest to use, so be warned. But I'm just putting it out there. But what do you do if the date is wrong? Then check out my other video on how to change photo dates and times of your video in the link above. But before I go, one word of caution. Beware of the apps. Yes, WhatsApp and Facebook are not very helpful when it comes to capture dates. Any image from WhatsApp will have a capture date of the day the image was sent, and Facebook will have a capture date of the day the image was loaded. So be 100% sure that the capture date that you are looking at is actually the capture date. So now you know what all those dates mean, what other tips do you have for finding dates on your photos? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organising your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organising your photos and videos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.